um, it's actually very easy. So I'm just going to be first telling you how to do some notation. So the notation, so when I show you the algorithms, you understand what I'm doing. So it's basically similar to the one on 3x3. Three three. So um, you have left clockwise and then left and clockwise. And um, you've got right clockwise and right anti-clockwise. You've got up clockwise and up anti-clockwise. And you can do and then back, but the algorithms I'm going to be showing you won't include back the back because it feels it's a bit awkward trying to do that. So um, let's um, scramble the cube and start solving it. So I've scrambled the cube, the um, pyraminx, and um, we're going to start the first um, the first step to solving it. So um, the first step is to pick a colour that you want to solve. So I'm just going to be doing yellow in this case. So um, you have to first find all, so these are tips, which I forgot to mention. So you need to find all the tips which include yellow. So there's three tips. So here's one and here's two. So you put your fingers on them. And then the final one is up here. So we've put our fingers on them, so um, it's where your fingers will match. So um, you can bring all the yellow tips to this face here, like this. So once you've done that, um, it will determine what face your yellow will be. So now it's to get the centers matched. So the centers consist of... Um, this middle piece, this piece, and this piece. These are considered as edges because they have two colours on them. So in order to get the centres, there's no specific algorithm, but it's really easy. So um, don't worry if your tips get messed up, but make sure your um, when you move the fa the um, when you move the pyraminx around, um, you don't actually move it like this. So all you have to do is you keep turning the top face until you've got this. You keep turning the left face until you've got this, and the right face until you've got this. So now, as you can see, our tips have been screwed up, so we can just bring them back up, like so. So now these are the centres done, and it's time to do the edges. So when you're solving the edges, you need to make sure this... Um, your yellow side or whatever side you're facing is up, facing at the bottom and um, you need to find an edge with yellow on it. So um, here's a green and yellow edge. So all you have to do is align this green like this. So it needs to be, it needs to be like this, not like that, like that. So um, when the yellow side is on the left to you, on the left of you, you need to um, bring the right side up, so right, and then you do up, and then right anti-clockwise, so that places the edge in for you, and um, now we can do this one, so if you align this here, so in, it's facing on the right now, so when it's facing on the right, you need to do the, a similar algorithm, but it's um, the other version of it, so you have to do left anti-clockwise, up anti-clockwise and left so it places it in for you so um you have to place in three edges in total so um when your last edge or any edges that you need to place in is at the bottom you can perform um you can just bring it up and move it away and bring it down and then you have to align it again so it's on the right so you perform the algorithm and now We've completed a full face and the first, the um, entire layer. So now we need to go into doing the other. So on um, these top layers, first you need to get this tip and align them. So all of these are aligned. And now we need to find, um, you keep turning this bit of the cube and um, the, of the pyraminx until you find a um, edge piece that is placed in right. So um, 
if you look around it's n and nothing's placed in correctly we do move it at the top nothing's placed in yet and we move it one more time you can see these two are placed in correctly so um correctly so you make sure they're facing at the back and now you perform this algorithm So this will get you to like this headlights thing. So um, now we're, there's um, one more algorithm to solve it. So I'm not going to show you all cases because um, this is just a simple method on how to solve it. So um, it doesn't matter which way um, these centers need to go around. You um, might have to perform this algorithm two times depending on which way they um, need to travel. So you perform this algorithm. And then the permix is solved. Another thing you might want to know is that once you've completed this bottom layer and you go into solving the top layer, there are some cases and you can learn the algorithms to solve the um, permix faster, which will cut down your times and your times will get um, faster. So that's good. And um, I'm just going to go through a quick overview of what we've been doing. So the first thing we did is we found, um, we picked a colour we wanted to solve, so I did yellow. And you find the yellow tips and you make sure you put your fingers on them and determine the face that the yellow is. And then you turn the top layer, the right layer and the left layer until you find the centre. Then you align the tips again, you insert the edges with the correct algorithm and then you move on to the last layer and just do the algorithms. So thanks for watching, please like and subscribe.